Yo okay, guys, so how's it going? Welcome to another episode. It's a, it's a, it's like a tournament, this one, uh, just like the previous one we've done. We have now entered a 15 minute and 10 second interval uh, tournament on chess.com. It's about to start here in 6, 5, a couple of seconds. And yeah, we're just going to see how it's going. This is currently being live streamed down in my channel. Let's switch over because I think we've just got our first opponent. Yes, we have. Here we go, we've got the white pieces, it's always good to start with. Um, and yeah, we've got the YouTube, oh there we go, I'm famous, Big Sean's famous. Uh, so 15 minutes, uh, 10 second intervals. Again, the tournament that I have coming up in uh, just over a week is a 90 minute and 30 second interval match. He's going for the Karakhan, I do like playing the fantasy, so we'll take the center. Gonna go here and we will play the fantasy variation. Uh, because if they do take, we get the big center and it's easy to defend. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys are enjoying or you do want to see the next episode, please just slap a like. It helps me enjoy, uh, it helps me enjoy making these videos. Um, this move isn't too good as it blocks in the light square bishop, but we don't want to take too much time here in um, trying to develop. So what are we thinking? I'm thinking maybe... If we go here, he's likely going to pin. So let's stop the pin. Playing, uh, you know, expect the move, await the move. We can't bring the cat back. The cat's long gone. Right. So he's attacking this pawn. We can't go here. We can defend it again with another pawn. He's probably going to develop. Uh, so we'll defend with the pawn. To replace this if he does take. And we'll... Get the bishop out here. It's a very common move. Uh, again, we're probably ending up in a position that we've all all probably been in before and seen. Like, I went from Karo Khan, kind of... It, it is a fantasy variation, but it, it's a bit different. So, let's see. What have we got? We can continue development, maybe. Uh, castle here. Uh, I think that may be the move. We'll get castled early, so then we can start attacking quite rapidly. Uh, let's go. Let's go. So, anyway, guys, yeah, again, uh, if you do want to see another episode, I am going to be recording these games one by one. So, please tune in the next one. We'll see how we finish in the tournament. And um, let's just hope we get second place like we did last time. So, we can't fall back because we have the escape scores for our bishop. Weaken in this side for his king if he does decide to push forward. So then we know he's going to castle king side. Um, or we can go tech, tech. And his bishop is kind of weak because of the amount of pawns he has on light scores. So we wouldn't really want to trade off. Well, we would want to trade our light square bishop, actually. Let's tech, yeah. Let's tech. And then... Well, we have one, two, three, four, five pawns on dark squares, three pawns on light squares. Um, so our dark square bishop is a wee bit better than his as he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pawns on uh, light squares. Uh, and his dark square bishop is out here, so it's gonna be quite powerful. Um, so what can we do? Uh, let's see. The moves that are going through my mind is just bring the bishop out, normal development move. Uh, we could push and lock down the dark squares in the center. Uh, stopping his knight from normal progression here. Could push the pawn if he pushes the pawn. Uh, we could just go here. So let's see. We'll push to stop uh, him having the ability to open up the scope for his light square bishop. That's the idea. That's the idea. Again, uh, in the description below, there is a link to the Discord where you can leave some of your games to, if you don't have the ability to have game review, you know, you don't pay for the subscription or anything, Elo Estimator, if you join the Discord and you submit some of your games there, we can get them, um, we will review them, I will try to estimate your Elo, very like Gotham's Chess guess the Elo, but it's Estimator, no, Elo Estimator. You know, totally not copyrighted or anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, and that way you get to see your game reviewed and it doesn't cost you anything. And a bit of fun in me trying to guess what if you had a brilliant game and I just have to randomly get, I swear, I've seen some nuts, 
crazy games. So this move is very clear. One move attack that attacks this uh, pawn in the center. So we are our, not pawn in the center. Sorry, our B pawn. We can move up. We can take. He takes, and then we move up because it's very likely he's going to try attack our bishop. But I think we will probably. Don't know what square is better to put the queen on. Probably c2, given the opportunity for our knight to go to d2. We can't be easily, uh, well, we can be attacked here, but that could just be taken. So we will go here. Again, this gives us the opportunity to develop our knight as normal. So it does. Defending this pawn as well, which is the whole move or whole reason for his previous move. It's going to be easier for him to get his knight out now. Or get it castled because this for this is free for his uh, knight to go to now that's no longer pinned um to his queen what do you guys play against the carol Khan? do you go for the trade uh, the exchange variation or do you guys go for the advanced possibly the uh, fantasy maybe you guys play a fantasy yourselves so i'm thinking here and maybe we'll trade off the um knight maybe maybe we'll start to try to get this other knight out as well and we push this pawn we push the pawn maybe ideal uh let's see let's see let's see we push the pawn can we escape if we're attacked no we can't because this is covering so this is covering here if he attacks us when we push we don't have any squares to go to. Well, push, takes, takes, takes. Yeah, actually. Yeah, let's push. Because then again, it, it makes the file a wee bit more open for a rook. Gives him more squares to look at. This is still defended. He hasn't done anything over on this side of the board. Uh, so he does attack us. We will then... Yeah, again, this was worried about. So we push, takes. Uh, we go here. He just takes for free. We go here. Takes, takes. If we go here, takes. Uh, what can we do after that? Well, I guess then we can escape. So let's go here. Yeah, so this gives us the opportunity to escape. Um, we could go here then and offer a trade a knight for knight for bishop. Could fall back even further if we wanted to. Could also take, but then it doesn't do much for us. So well actually takes and we're threatening here. And we're threatening tech here. So if we take with a queen. He takes a bishop. We can take here, check. The only square he can go to is here. After that, we take the knight. Is that a, is that, is that a bad move? Well, takes, attacks. What can we do after that? Well, we can still go here. Yeah, no, I think moving the queen here, taking there with the queen's the best move. I think that's the best move for us. So if he castles, his rook ends up here, looking kind of here. No, he actually can't castle because of the queen. If he takes again. We get Jack defended by the rook from behind. He has that's his only square he can go to. Then uh, after he moves there, have we got any other checks? Any follow up checks? I don't see any, so then we get the knight. After we get the knight, it is likely that he'll probably drop the bishop back to attack our queen as on the square. So again, this sequence is going as takes, takes, move, takes, bishop back, attacking the queen. After the queen gets attacked, we can take the pawn. With check. We take upon with check. He then blocks. Attacking our queen again. 
And we could probably just retreat. That does not look confusing at all. Does not look confusing at all. Do you see anything better in this position? Let me know. Let me know if you see anything better in this position. Um, but he clearly he's struggling. He's struggling himself. He's a 960 rated in rapid. Uh, so we do have a wee bit of... Okay. So he's attacking our rook. So again, check. Hold on. Is that not just mate? Is that not just mate? Let's calculate this first. So, where can his king go? Can't go here. Can't go. Can't go here. Can't go here. Currently, but if we moved our queen, he still can't go here. He can't go there. He can't go there. Can our queen be taken? Oh, that seemed like too easy of a game. That almost seemed too easy, but I will not complain. Seems like a perfect length for an episode. Tell you what, let's give it a wee game review here, uh, because we're probably still waiting on the next. Um, that did not seem bad. 87.6% accuracy, fantasy variation. Does say to bring the knight out. I was just a wee bit worried about any square, anything going there. And here, apparently, we should talk in the center. Um, but we didn't do anything wrong. There was no massive mistakes, nothing that lost us material. Well, apparently this is a mistake. Uh, now, why is this a mistake? That's the biggest thing. What's the best thing about this game? Great move. What's better than a great move? A brilliant move. Oh, you love to see that colour. See, when you see that shade of blue? Is that blue? Once you see that shade, oh, it's lovely, it's lovely. So, computer says, bishop takes, we check, king moves, and then, yes, we take, uh, I would assume that next best move is queen takes g6. Yes, okay, that's what we calculated. It ended up being a brilliant move, because that's not something that you would really spot. You push to kind of get them to take, because you're attacking. If they take, you take, opening up uh, their king a bit. But oh my god, they blundered. What's the best move in this position for them? It is to take. So this is the only move for them to take the bishop where we would give a check, they move, and then we will win uh, the, um, sorry, the knight. Oh, that's lovely. You love to see that color. Chestercom estimated us at 1500 elo and our opponent 1150 with an accuracy us of 86.7 and them 73.1. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. That's a brilliant, brilliant game. Oh, you lot, I'm getting goosebumps. I, I feel amazing. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next episode. Don't forget to tune in. Hopefully, we can get another brilliant game, or else we're going to get slaughtered. You never know. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good one.